Hi, what's up? My name is Emily and voiceovers make me nervous, but I do them for you guys because you guys seem to like them for some reason. I honestly, to be honest, I did not enjoy that grape chia kombucha. I thought it was going to be really fun. I wanted to see how those chia seeds felt in my mouth uh, and I didn't like it. And also it tasted like grape soda, which apparently I don't like. I forgot that from my childhood. I don't like that. So it was a really stupid decision to me. But um, you live and you learn, right? So next time I won't buy that flavor. Oh, I didn't even say what this video is, but I just kind of assume that you guys are at the IQ level that you can figure that out on your own. Um, here's my lunch. This was at Loving Hut, the only, I believe, only vegan restaurant in the town area slash town slash city that I live in. This was chow fun noodles and a meal called Barbecue Sensation. Um, it tasted a lot like ribs. It was so good. And then we picked up this cafe, what is it? Coffee mocha uh, sandwich. <laughs> it's like a, one of those wafer cookies that, um... Well, I don't know if you guys had them when you were kids, but I used to have them when I was a kid. Um, when I was kids. Ha 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 It's kind of messed up, man. Oh, it is. <laughs> it really what is. even is that? I don't know. And then I ate a mango. It was a delicious mango. I will rate it 9 out of 10, honestly. To be honestly, it was, uh, it was great. Um, right, not stringy, not mushy. Still the one I need. Doesn't it look so cute? Okay, here's dinner. I made veggie sandwiches with my mommy. So first, <clears throat> uh, we uh, cooked some veggie burgers from Costco on the stove. They're the ones that I've shown you a million times. Um, they're just these superfood burger patty, for veggie burger patty thingies. And I put some avocado. I put mushroom, bell pepper, uh... Mm, mustard, almost forgot what that was called, spinach, sprouts, and more avocado. I'm so sorry that I, I wasn't wearing my glasses, and I just, I thought that it was focused. Like, right now, I'm probably like, yes, okay, got the shot, I can start eating now, everything is good. Honey! No, you can't! Alright, so then Thursday morning, I made a smoothie, and this smoothie included... The fruits that are um, commonly referred to as bananas and strawberries. And a little bit of soy milk, of course, because that's all I eat, basically. And then I made a little parfait thingy. I really don't even want to explain what this is because I'm so disappointed in it. Um, in my presentation, at least. It tasted very good. But um, it's basically a strawberry banana smoothie with some supernola, which is a great brand of granola. I'll talk more about it later. Um, and then on the bottom is some chocolate chia seed pudding. Woo! After breakfast, I had a snack of one apple and a spoonful of peanut butter. A classic um, story, a classic uh, snack. It's great. And then now another snack. We're just snacking it up today, I guess. Um, I'm eating some carrots and hummus and now I'm showing you things that I'm using for the dinner that I was making I bought these weird um, dry meats from the Loving Hut that uh, that's the restaurant that I went to the other day here's me getting them greens in ha <laughs> so the dry meat thingies um, she did give me directions and I tried to follow them as well as I could but they were pretty vague directions I probably should have asked for more detailed questions but it tasted really good. I also bought this vegan mushroom oyster sauce or something. I put that, I put Bragg's, I put sweet chili sauce. It was really good flavor, but I just cooked it so that it was really um, tough to chew. Uh, and then Friday morning, I'm having kombucha again, but I actually enjoyed this flavor. And now for breakfast, I'm making banana ice cream. Um, but because I own a magic bullet and not a Vitamix, I don't really make nice cream pretty much ever. I only make like nice milkshakes. <laughs> to, uh, I don't know how- nice shake? I don't know. A banana- banana smoothie basically with soy milk, but it has a really nice texture like a milkshake because the frozen bananas, you know, the whole deal. There's that um, chocolate chia seed pudding again. 
and I'm mixing in some peanut butter. Are you shocked? You shouldn't be. I don't know what to say. It's really good. Uh, the chocolate pudding stuff was basically soy milk, chia seeds, cocoa powder, and some maple syrup, and then I added in peanut butter, obviously. Um, I think there was also a little bit of protein powder in it, too. Yes, there was. Oh, and then I put some more Supernola on top. Check out the link in the description if you want to check out Supernola. I really like them. Super healthy, super nutritious, and <laughs> delicious. And now, that was just the leftovers from the night before. The weird stuff that I was making, again, tastes really good, but I cooked it so that it was just so chewy, just so oddly chewy. And then, um, dinner? Is this dinner? Oh yeah, dinner. Me and Casey made dinner together, and we basically just combined um, some ingredients from both of our kitchens to make some weird meal. Uh, and yeah, she brought these rice cake things um, that she saw in a Mummy Tang video and just wanted to make them. But yeah, so we, we made those with Gardein Sweet and Sour Porkless Bites, which are so good. I recommend them to you. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And yeah, uh, with some stir fried veggies. I'm trying to think of what they look like. Like cheese, like, like um, string, string cheese. cheese, yeah. And now we went to ice cream to try out this place called Creamistry. It's an interesting place. All their ingredients and their allergens and stuff are on their websites if you want to check them out. You basically choose your base and then you choose your flavor and you choose your toppings. And they have a base that is coconut milk, coconut base. Um, and it's super thick and creamy and quite delicious if I do say so myself. Moving on, Saturday morning, I'm eating a little more of that chocolate chia seed pudding, and then I'm putting some kashi granola on it. I honestly don't remember at all what kind it was, but it was some granola. Do you really need to know what kind of granola? Probably not. I mean, I don't know why I feel the need to... Just, well, I guess if you really want to know, like if you really want to buy it, if it looks so good, you want the exact same kind of granola that I'm eating or you're not satisfied. Now it's lunchtime, right? It looks like... This looks like lunch. Well, it's a snack, I guess. I am finishing the garlic naan from the other day. It's from Sprouts, and I'm just dipping it in some hummus. You know, the yeesh. The yeesh. It's not really, anyways. Uh, now I'm making a sandwich with some avocado and some cucumber and some hummus. The hummus, well, you know, it wasn't a good idea to try and spread the hummus on top of the cucumber like that. Um, but you know what? Sometimes in life, you just gotta, you just gotta go for it. You know, you just gotta like face your fears and do your best to conquer them. You know, see, this is what. A proper focused shot would look like um, something that I need to work on in my uh, film career <laughs> it's funny um, and then for the night time I honestly to be to be to be quite honest I didn't have dinner this day I didn't have time to make dinner and I went mini golfing with some friends so yeah I just was like well I'm gonna get hungry so I'm gonna get a cliff bar and I did that. So that was basically my dinner. It's Miranda. It's cute. Thanks. After that, we went to this place called Mickey's Yogurt. They have a lot of flavors there. I mean, it's a local place, so it only really matters to you if you live where I live, but they have several non-dairy flavors. And um, I forgot to film it, but I did take pictures of it for the gram. So yeah, <laughs> Sunday morning. The last, I'm just eating it straight out of the jar because this is the last small bit of the chocolate peanut butter chia seed pudding. And I'm just putting some of this Love Crunch granola on it and some soy milk and a banana. If you haven't noticed, I've been eating like the same thing for breakfast this whole time um, with slight variations. It would be nice for me to have a little more variation in my breakfasts, um, but they don't always, I can assure you, they don't always look this shockingly similar throughout the entire week. And for lunch, I don't know what this was, if I'm being completely honest with you. <laughs> It's rice and beans with seasoning and stuff, and then some bell pepper and avocado, okay? That's all you really need to know. 
And now I went to my grandma's house to make dinner for us and I made pasta. Um, and I basically just sauteed some onion and then put in a bunch of fresh tomatoes. And then I put in minced, I almost forgot to put in the minced garlic. And I put in a bunch of this um, no salt seasoning mix from Costco that I really like. Um, yeah, so I just cooked, let that, you know, let all the flavors get in the goodness and uh, let it simmer for quite some time. And then I added in a bunch of canned tomato sauce from Costco. We buy the huge thing in bulk, um, it's really nice. And then I put in a bunch of mushrooms and then I put in the meatballs, and I made a mess. And then I just combined it all together to make this beautiful pasta dish. Um, yep, my grandma had this salad mix that she wanted to get rid of, so I ate some of that with some Italian dressing that she had in her fridge. And there's the pasta. It was very delicious. I love pasta very, very much. Those meat meatless meatballs are really good. They're from Trader Joe's. Um, very much enjoyed them. And then we also ate some cantaloupe. And then on Monday morning, well, actually the night before, I made a huge jar of the chocolate peanut butter overnight oats that I show you how to make in my overnight oats video um this is my favorite way to make overnight oats because it's easy and it tastes good and then this is lunch and i'm just taking a bunch of stuff out of my fridge to eat but yeah just basically there's onions but uh onions rice beans um tomato mushroom and then i put like seasonings and brags and i don't know i <laughs> first um the tomatoes and stuff with the seasonings and then I added in the rice just to heat it up with the beans and stuff and spinach yeah I don't know probably paprika onion powder garlic powder pepper salt I put like the same seasonings and everything because I'm really uncreative 80% of the time a little before dinner I got really hungry and I ate this Lara bar and then for dinner Casey and I made sandwiches at her house and she had this sweet earth seitan that I cooked on the stove with some barbecue sauce and then put it in a sandwich with hummus and sprouts and spinach and tomato and some vegan mayonnaise from Trader Joe's and I believe that was it so yeah um and then f after that I was making cupcakes I was testing out this gluten-free vegan cup cake mix um that I was trying out I don't know if other people ever do this, but it's really good. Um, my mom used to always do it, so I grew up doing it, but dipping graham crackers in frosting, it's obviously very unhealthy, but like, yeah, so that's what I was doing. And then Tuesday morning, this is the last day of the what I ate in a week. I made, or I didn't make it, I was just finishing it. The rest of the chocolate peanut butter oat, overnight oats, and I put some banana in there very exciting and then uh for not lunch just for uh for a drink me and casey went to this place called pearl tea house in fresno and got some boba this is a flavor called coffee green tea and it's basically just it's coffee flavor and green tea flavor mixed together and it's really great um <laughs> Then I had this slim protein bar um, because we went to the mall and I needed food and I didn't have time to make a lunch and I bought it at Sprouts on sale. It was 50 cents. Isn't that great? And then we got Chipotle on the way home, of course. Black beans, brown rice, corn salsa, medium salsa, mild salsa, guacamole, lettuce, and fajita veggies. And once again, I want to tell you guys all, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I know that you really enjoyed it because how could you not? Please stick around. Please hit me with that subscribe. Give me a little subscribe action, would you please? Uh, give it a like if you found it interesting, if you found it helpful. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're all having a great summer. And I will be back with another video someday in the future. <laughs> Goodbye.